Hey guys, welcome back for another Vlogmas video. Today is a video that I, if you asked me a few weeks ago if I would be making this video for Vlogmas, the answer would be no. Um, we've had kind of a surprise situation come up and so I wanted to share that with you guys um, for this video in place of another video that I had planned but I will explain all of that here in this video but as you can see from the title I am posting this to request the prayers of you guys I believe what the Lord's Word says and he says where three or more are gathered he is among them and so I believe in the power of prayer so that is what this video is also just to share real time what's going on in my life so um, that's all this video is gonna be is a little bit of a story time slash update and um, with the intention of asking you guys if you would pray for my family so I want to first start this off by saying sorry if the lighting is a little weird it is almost nighttime and it is cloudy and I do have my ring light so I much prefer to film with real light but sometimes that's just not possible you can see the ring <laughs> right there um so anyways um first I hope you guys have been enjoying vlogmas I this is my very first year doing it and I've had a lot of fun interacting daily with you guys um, every morning I wake up and it's kind of like a bad habit that I've developed um, <laughs> that I'm gonna have to break but it's like waiting for an exciting email knowing that like you're gonna have comments every day when you wake up from people on your videos and it's been really fun and I hope you guys have enjoyed um, having a daily video from me and seeing a lot of what we do this time of year and um, I just hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, so with that being said, you are probably all aware that I did a lot of pre-filming and sit down videos um, and like scheduled things out for Vlogmas because I just knew that that was the only way I would be successful um, and the day-to-day -day of life isn't really all that exciting so um, I wanted to do some sit down videos mixed in for vlogmas and I'm very thankful that I did that however I did leave some days open for things that we planned on doing as a family that I wanted to vlog and capture for memories and then share those with you. Um, so the reason why you're seeing this video instead of another one that I had planned is because over the last, we found out last Friday and you guys are seeing this on Thursday. Um, so almost a week ago, um, we found out that my husband is going to be having surgery tomorrow <laughs> um and if you guys have followed me for a long time then you will remember over the summer in july to be exact uh we were on vacation in san clemente california at our annual beach house that we rent and he woke up out of nowhere um in excruciating pain could not walk could not crawl couldn't move was like overnight just debilitated um we were in it was like two or three days into our trip and so we were in california we were not near any doctors or anything like that so we thought you know maybe he slept wrong maybe you know we went through the whole list of what it could be um and so what we started to do while we were in california was to see a chiropractor there um just to try to get him some relief because he was in agonizing pain like in tears and the man does not cry um i shared that with you guys um on instagram i don't think i ever made a video about it but if you follow me on my instagram and you follow my family then you know that that was something that we kind of went through um it continued on in excruciating pain um all different kinds of problems um, 
and like tightness like never before, um, swelling in his calf, and just all these very strange symptoms. So we just attribute it to the fact that he now sits at a desk and he's never sat at a desk before. And um, we thought maybe he did something lifting weights because we are both extremely active and like to push ourselves to the limit. And I just kind of thought maybe he pushed himself a little too far. Um, so that's kind of what we thought. So we, uh, we went to the chiropractor, we were doing the stretches, we were researching, everything seemed like it was sciatica, a case of very bad um, sciatic nerve um, pain, like a pinched nerve, um, the sciatic nerve basically. Uh, so we thought, well, I guess we're just gonna have to wait for this to go away. And uh, a little bit of, uh, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea, we definitely err on the side of natural healing. Um, we are not the kind of people that rush to the doctor if we um, you know, have a sniffle or something like that. We always try to let the body heal itself on its own, um, take the natural course, but we are not completely, <laughs> you know, against science, and sometimes there is a need for a doctor. So after about eight weeks, because with a case of severe sciatica, it did say that, um, that you know, it could take quite a while. So the, once the initial awful pain had subsided, um, we thought, okay, maybe healing is happening, but he was still so limited. He was limping. He couldn't put any weight on his left side. So after about eight weeks of that is when we decided, okay, we need to go to the doctor. So um, my husband went to the doctor. So this was probably in September and the beginning of September. And, um, and the doctor told him, okay, we need to do an x-ray we knew he didn't break anything there was no like accident or anything that happened but you know they have to go through their steps and the steps take forever so he gets the x he goes to the doctor he makes the appointment for the x-ray he gets the x-ray he goes back to the doctor you know all these things are like a week apart and um so once he goes back the x-ray of course shows nothing is wrong with like the bone so they want to do an mri to look at the soft tissue so they send him for the mri it takes a week to get the appointment then it takes a week to get the results then it takes a week to go back and sure enough on the mri it revealed that he has a bulging disc um l5 s1 which is basically like the last vertebrae or the last like part of your spine before your tailbone that last bit he has a bulge disc there and um the mri revealed that it was out quite a distance um like pretty far out there um but again we the we went back to the doctor the doctor said okay you do need to go see a neurosurgeon um to see what they think you need to do for this um so then we made the appointment with the neurosurgeon his soonest appointment was like a month out so now we're talking like the middle of october um, all the while, my husband, the pain, the initial sciatic pain had subsided, but he still hasn't had full strength. Um, he has, still has numbness. He still has, like, reduced quality of life because he can't do what he's used to doing. Um, so now we're in October, like I said, so we make appointment with the neurosurgeon, one of the best in our area. Um, and so we're grateful for that at least, but, uh, we get all the way until the week of the appointment and then something happens and the doctor has to cancel the appointment. And the soonest appointment that they had after that was like two or three weeks later. So we took that appointment. Well, then we decided we were going to go to Michigan and it just so happened that it was the same week. So my husband called to cancel that one. And the soonest that they could get him in was last Friday, the 12th. So this started in July. We really didn't seek medical intervention until about September. And here we are in December. So this is like five months later. So my husband, like I said, has not been in the pain. The pain went away after about like 
four or five weeks, um, but he still can't stand up and lean forward. He still can't run. He still can't balance on one leg. And these are all things like my husband is a very active man and chasing the kids and hiking and all the things. Um, so it's, it's really been affecting him. So waiting for this appointment, we figured, you know, you just need physical therapy. You didn't use your, the left side of your body for a while. You just need physical therapy. And my background is rehabbing people who have had injuries, you know, with exercise. So all along I've been helping him do different exercises and stretches and different things like that. Um, and I do think that that has helped him quite a bit, but, um, so he goes to the appointment. I was not there and the neurosurgeon who has like 25 years of experience tells him that he needs surgery and he needs surgery pretty soon because the longer the nerve is compressed, which it still is, which is what is causing that weakness, the more likely it is to be permanent, the longer it's delayed. Um, and also he explained to him that the way his spine was formed, that there really is nothing that he did to cause this. It really is the way that his body is formed. And the doctor, I was not there, but my husband explained that he showed him on the MRI and it's very visible even to an untrained eye what is wrong with his back and so that is the reason for the bulge disc and he also explained that um, the doctor told him that his is very severe and there is zero chance of it going back in the disc fully back in on its own so the only option for my husband to hopefully be back to his his normal self is by having surgery. So you may be thinking surgery five days before Christmas. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know my thoughts exactly. But the thing is, is that it's a six week uh, time frame for a full recovery. And six weeks from the day that my husband is having the surgery, which for you guys will be tomorrow, is when we leave on our cruise that is non-refundable and paid in full so um we couldn't delay it any longer and we also have already been waiting so long and he's been without the use of his body fully for a very long time and we don't want him to have any permanent nerve damage um which could already be the case so we are having we he is having surgery tomorrow and i know you guys who watch have you know seen him on some of my videos and um you know like you see his personality he's very funny light-hearted guy but having surgery on your spine is scary um and yes i know that there are people out there facing far worse than this with far more grim diagnosis and prognosis, but it still is scary to have your husband having spine surgery five days before Christmas. So the reason why I needed to do this video is because a lot of the things that I had planned for our family um, to do leading up until Christmas are now going to have to be different. And they're going to have to be different because he can't come. And so um, one of the things that I was going to do was surprise the kids with a trip to see Elf the musical at um, a theater in Utah. Um, so it's like a two and a half hour drive. And I was going to vlog, sorry, my phone. I was going to vlog the whole day, but now my husband, it's the day after his surgery. So he obviously cannot go and we're even, our tickets again for that are also non-refundable. And so we're not even sure that we're going to be able to go. Um, he wants us to go because he doesn't want us to miss out on any of the fun stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have to wait and see how he's doing and kind of play it by ear. But I definitely could not vlog and drive to Utah by myself and take the kids and like it was just going to be too much. So that was what I had planned on filming in place of this little update video. Um, but hey, this is real life and I'm very thankful that I filmed content ahead because if I hadn't, Vlogmas would be ending right here. Um, 
I, I'm going to have to do all the Christmas stuff with my kids by myself. I'm going to have to do the rest of like the wrapping and I'm just going to be, I'm, and then I'm going to be taking care of him and it's just going to be a lot. So, um, I wanted to let you guys know all of this, um, because I would really love it if you would be praying for Jake tomorrow will be his surgery um, and I just would love it to know that you all were praying for my family um, we're just praying that the surgery works and that his recovery is fast and that he does not have permanent nerve damage so those are the three biggest things that we're praying for um, and if you would like to throw me in the mix, just pray that God gives me the strength I need to do all the things and that um, he's still able to enjoy Christmas with us because if you guys watch all of my videos, you know that this is the first year that we've had him for all of the holidays and it's a little bit sad that our first year of having dad available for, for Christmas um, is going to be spent recovering from surgery. A little bit sad um so yeah i'm a, i'm a lot stressed out and i'm sad and uh i wish that this wasn't happening but it is and so that's that so um i just wanted to let you guys know what's going on in my life i may or may not be very active on instagram so I don't know how that's all gonna go. I gotta see how I'm doing um, and how he's doing and how everyone is doing. So if I go silent over there for a little while, no, I'm okay. It's just like life. Um, but thankfully, like I said, I have pre-filmed videos and so you guys will still have a video all the way up until Christmas. Um, so you won't even notice. But uh, I just wanted to get on here and share what is actually going on in my life currently and uh like i said his surgery is tomorrow from when you guys are seeing this so please be praying pray for my kids hearts they're scared they this is i mean other than my c-sections this is like the first surgery either of their parents have undergone and so they're a little scared about it so um that's it guys i wanted to let you know so i'm sorry i had to give you this update instead of a fun family vlog to uh saint george but that's what's going on so we're just doing the best we can over here and um yeah that's all so thank you guys for watching please pray that uh everything goes well tomorrow thank you for your understanding and thank you guys for your care and love um it says something that i felt like i wanted to get on here and ask you guys to pray and so i'm just thankful for this community and i hope you all are doing really well and you'll see another video tomorrow for vlogmas bye guys